Hello everyone. This video is going to show you how to set up a digital notebook so that you can push out content to students as you create it in slides. This way you don't have to have everything pre-created ahead of time and as you build during your unit, lesson, or quarter, you can push information out to your students in real time. So when I start, I create a Google Slides. And this Google Slides is going to be my version, the master version, or as you can see up here, I call this the teacher version. So this is where I start. As you can see, I have this saved in a notebook format instead of a normal uh, Google Slides format. So what I did was I went to File and scrolled down to Page Setup. And I changed this to custom and made it look like a paper, eight and a half by 11 inches. So it mimics a notebook style. And then I clicked apply. So once I have that set up, I then built my notebook. And what you would do is create all the slides that you would want to push out to your students. But as you can see, the majority of my slides are blank. And that's OK. If you know that, um, I don't know, you're going to do a journal prompt for the next 45 days, create 45 or 50 blank slides and only start with a title page and possibly one or two initial prompts. So then that way the students have the slides and then as you add content, they can update their slides when you are ready. So now that I have my teacher version, what I do is I actually come in and to my drive and I create another Google Slides. And so I'm going to name this the same thing. Except instead of teacher version, I'm going to call this my student version. And before I do anything, I want to change my page setup to match my page setup in my teacher version. So again, I'm going to go to file, page setup. I'm going to say custom, do eight and a half by 11 and click apply. So now I have this in my page setup to mimic a notebook. So instead of doing file, make a copy, in order for this to work, you need to actually copy and paste the slides into the student into the student version. So that's why I created a new Google Slides and named it a student version, because I'm not going to do file, make a copy. It won't work that way. So I'm going to highlight my first slide. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and hold down shift and highlight the last slide. This way it highlights everything in my all my slides in my list. So I'm going to right click. Select copy, and I'm going to come back to my student version. I'm going to right click and paste. And it's very important. This comes up when this pops up. You're going to say link and keep original styles. Once I click link, every slide should have this chain link on it. So ever, all your slides are linked now to that teacher version or master version. Except you notice this initial slide that was in my student version, there's no chain link here. And that was just the initial slide, so I just delete that out. So now this is linked. Another thing to point out, for this to work properly, your teacher version or master version needs to make sure this is shared out as view only. So if you click on share, make sure that anybody in your domain can view, okay? So make sure it's viewer option only. So going back to my student one, this is the one I'm going to give to students. So if you use Google Classroom or Google Assignments, you can share this through a Google Assignment and each kid will get their own copy and these slides will stay linked. If you don't use Google Classroom or Google Assignments, you can always do a forced copy. So if you grab this link, So I'm going to change this, share it out. I'm going to copy the link. 
to the student version. So make sure you've shared that out so students can grab it. I'm going to paste that link in here, but I'm going to backspace to the slash and add the word copy. And when that happens, it brings the student to here and they'll automatically make a copy so that they have that copy version. So how does this work? So we've created the teacher version. We've copied and pasted these slides into the student version. We see that the chain link is linked there. So in my teacher version, Let's go to the, my first blank slide. So let's say I put in, here is your journal prompt for today. And so let's say I added a journal prompt here for students in my teacher version. This is slide four. When my students open up their version and they go to slide four, there's going to be one extra thing added here, update. They're going to click that update and it pulls through your content. So every time you add content to a slide, it pulls through and links to your original version, which is really nice. So that's how you do that every single time. So if I were to go to slide five and I wanted to add, I don't know, a circle because I want them to do something inside that circle. When I go back to my student version and I go to slide five, there's an update. Have your students click update and that circle pulls through. So that's a really nice feature of Google Slides, linking those slides together. So a common question I get, well, what if my students delete out a slide? That's okay. So if they delete something out, they can go to any slide in their version and click on this drop down and say open source. When they open the source, you see what they opened, the teacher version. So now they are accessing your teacher version, but you shared it only as view only. So in that view only setting, they can come over and let's say they deleted this slide out. They would just click on it, copy, and then go back to their student version and just right click and paste. And so that slide pops in there and they're gonna say yes, link to the original presentation. So now that link stays. So it's really nice that they can actually just go and grab it. You don't have to worry about sending them the extra slide or how to push these slides out. And the nice thing about doing it this way, it's all free. You don't have to use any paid for um, add-ons or extensions. It's a really nice option to link those slides. One thing I'll caution you, if you're using a very large um, amount of slides, it'll take longer for it to load for students. So keep in mind how, how much information, especially if you put images and videos into the slides, it will take a little bit longer for it to load. So just keep that in mind and you might wanna keep uh, less slides or less video, live videos and stuff, the better. If you're going to use videos, maybe you just add the link instead of embedding the video in. I hope using the link slides option in Google Slides is helpful to push out content to your students in real time.